And as you can see, these are my patterdales. I bred these specially. Now they're miniature Yorkies, cross Chihuahua, full patterdale. Now these pups are tiny. They're the size of a ferret. And these will be helping me, and you'll see them this year, doing my pest control. Where I go to garden centres, antique places. And what I do, environmentally friendly, no poisons. And we go and we tackle the rat problems. And uh, so there's no poisons about. Therefore the wildlife doesn't suffer. But we get rid of the pests. Now these have been coming on great. Now I've been working all these together. And as you can see, they love it. They love it when they're all together. And at the moment it's all play stage. Now these are my weasel ferrets. And I'll tell you what, they're quick. I don't want anybody out there criticising. All I want you to do is watch and and and, and, and think about your thoughts. I've worked dogs all my life and I've done pest control all my life. But I've always wanted to in breed a terrier what can run under a pallet. Now these are coming in less than six inches tall. Six inches tall. Now they're full grown nearly these. And I'm really pleased with them. Really pleased. And you see the ferrets, they're not bothered at all about them. Because I've been letting them go together for a long time. Now you can imagine me, when I get in a garden centre, an antique place or an old mill. And I let these go. They'll do the work. They'll work together. Flushing. Or just sent in rats and what I find when I go round and I do my visits every week just because of the presence of dogs and ferrets it keeps the pests away so therefore there's no involvement of poisons and I can't understand lads out there and I'll tell you what you'll probably be one who, who's watching this film and realise yourselves I don't understand why you don't let your terriers mingle with ferrets it's the most natural thing now look at that there's totally not playing and the and yet i've known lads they just won't let terriers go with the ferrets now come this winter there'll be these another there'll be another bitch the mother to these and there'll be five other ferrets and they will go doing pest control business Now you're telling me that's not a happy medium. They're not enjoying themselves. If one plays a bit rough, ferret plays a bit rough, dog plays a bit rough, they'll let one another know it, but they don't go out to set to hurt one another. And when these are hunting up in chicken houses, on allotments, the workers are a great team. So I hope you've enjoyed this start of this trek with me and I'll show you how they start working and what they do. Well like I say, these weasel ferrets, what I breed, they do work. They do work. But don't mix them up with a the micro ferret. The micro ferret is what's been taught, a name given by the pet shops. These are working weasel ferrets. And they've been going a long time, a long time of people who've been breeding them. And, this, and, and there's very few people who are actually breeding them today because they haven't really got micro ferrets. They've got small mitten ferrets, but not micro ferrets. So, 
you can join me i'll keep putting them i'll keep starting i'll learn how to film better i'll learn how to talk better and i'll i'll show you what i do with pest control